Okay. So, I've also had the opportunity to learn about the different processes that you can use uh, carbon fiber in, particularly pre-preg carbon fiber, which just means that the epoxy is already in the fiber, and all you have to do is lay it up the way you want it and bake it. So, we've got two different varieties here. The first of which is what they call a tape-rolled uh, tube, and all this is is a tube that has carbon fiber running from tip to tail. It runs the length of the tube. So the benefit of this is that it provides an extremely stiff tube, but it's not going to be the strongest as far as torque loads. Oh yeah, can we torque this one at all? Yeah, it's pretty stiff. This one's definitely... It's really thick. Yeah, this is a heavy duty piece of unidirectional uh, carbon here, fiber I'll, I'll See if I can get two hands going here. I can do it like this too. Yeah. It's hard to say if it's doing anything. Yeah, it's definitely stiff. But the down, I mean, if you're going for absolutely, you know, no flex in this direction, then this is a good way to go. So this is the concept where the fibers just go Straight. in line with the length. So that's great if you're making something stiff. But, you know, we are kind of trying to experiment with a skateboard deck that will have flex along its length, but will not have any torque flex. And that's kind of where this comes into play. Which is gonna be your walking stick, right? This is the walking stick. And it's, what's this yellow stuff isn't, is, is it yellow carbon? No, the yellow is actually Kevlar. This is the same stuff that you would make a bulletproof vest out of, or if you were making uh, sailboats, this is what you'd make the sail cloth from. So are sail cloths bulletproof? Uh, not necessarily, but it uses are we, are the we making, same material. Are, are we making bulletproof longboards, R Riley? Potentially. Potentially, okay. It'll, it might be faster than a speeding bullet, so all you gotta do is outrun the bullet. That's the real goal here. So, is what this is, is a fiber of carbon and a fiber of Kevlar that has been filament wound, which means you cannot run the fiber from tip to tail. You cannot go down the length exactly. You actually have to have a specific angle that it sits at as it rolls and applies the filament. So as you watch it rotate, you can see that there's a helicleal pattern of carbon fiber and Kevlar. So this is great if you're trying to achieve good torque resistance and if you're also wanting to control the amount of flex. So the real beauty of this system is that you can not only deposit a lot of fibers in whatever orientation you want, but you can also fine tune the flex characteristics of the finished product because you're orienting the fibers in a way that you want them to be oriented. So what we have here is an extremely flexible unit, but is also extremely resistant to torque. Oh, yeah. There's virtually no... Yeah, it's, it's as strong or stronger than this one, torsionally. And it's also lighter, <laughs> and it also allows for some flexing. So, this is pretty wild stuff. From my standpoint, I'm excited because this is doing what I'm looking for, which is giving good flex while having zero torque. So, to me, it's a matter of implementing this design into something we can make use of. Mm -hmm. so, so, stay tuned. The next step, though, mm -hmm. um, is we actually have this dowel, right? Yes. Please. You can literally see how much torque I'm getting out of this dowel. And if you watch my, wrist, my fists and how much they change as I torque it, I mean, that, that's a lot of torque right there. Yeah. And it, it doesn't have a lot of resistance. So that's what you don't want a yeah. ski or a snowboard or a skateboard deck to do. But it's nice to have a nice flexible deck 
that'll have good pop. Absorb and, vibration. Exactly. Which should be a good, uh, which, you know, with speedboarding, speedboarding, I mean, the, the vibration, they're keeping the wheels from gripping the road. Mm -hmm. And I, you know. So, and the one thing that I've learned is that with this dowel, it would be easier to do the tape rolling procedure and then cut out the fabric in the fiber orientation that we want and then just roll it on to this. Oh yeah? So could you do that in a uniform way? Yeah, definitely. Okay. If we could do it in a uniform way, that'll work. And if we're using tape rolling, that's that has that that's not the same cost. Yeah, tape rolling is like it's like the most inexpensive way to It's produce. like the perp derp. Yeah. <laughs> So, Sweet. so that's that's even better. Yeah, no, I think, and you know, it's it's also an experiment. It it opens up the number of routes we can experiment with. So it'll be good. I'm excited because we can turn this into something a little bit better, and then integrate it as a component to another another skateboard deck, and we can try a variety of different things to get the properties that we're looking for. So yeah, this is a good looking project and uh, we get to use a variety of different things that we can learn from. So that's always fun.